White sounds are much cooler than boring mono sounds, don't you think? Anyways, let me show you 9 simple ways to make your narrow sounds as huge as possible. If you think being white is unhealthy, well forget about that, white sounds are sexy. It's 2022, new year, new you, why bother going to gym, stay white. Anyways, way number one, dimension expander. There's something about the construction of a dimension expander that it just doesn't mess up your mono signal. See, the reason your sound is wide rather than narrow is because left and right channels have some differences in them. If you play the same audio signal in the left and the right channel, you will get a perfectly mono sound. But if you offset something in one of them, it will suddenly change into a stereo sound. Usually changes in the phase of the sound create what's called a phase cancelling. You simply lose volume in some places if you play it in mono. Dimension Expander does something similar, but it doesn't mess up your sound in mono. The sound stays identically the same in mono or stereo. Way number two, has, or as I like to call it, ass. It offsets one of the stereo channels by a small amount, usually from a few milliseconds to around 20 is a sweet spot. To achieve this effect, you simply use a delay effect and delay a desired stereo channel until you get a satisfying result. Way number 3, Chorus. This one introduces a pitch and timing automation to widen the sound. Usually Chorus has two voices but can have more. For example, in Serum's Chorus you can modulate the speed of the pitch automation, how much each voice is delayed, how much feedback you get, depth of the modulation, a filter and a mix knob. What I like to do is to add a bit of the chorus and mix it with the original sound. Also what I found out works pretty well is decreasing depth and increasing feedback. Way number 4, Phaser. This one not only adds width to your sound, but changes its tone. It offsets phases of the stereo channels to give you that phaser effect. Way number 5. Reverb. Pretty simple and straightforward. What you can do is to put a sound into a certain space. Different reverbs will have different physical spaces you can choose from. Way number 6, Offset and Layer. So this one I think is the most interesting out of all of them. Here you can be the most creative. What Offset and Layer technique is, is you take a sound, pan it to the left or right, duplicate it, pan it to the left or right, make sure both sounds are panned to the opposite ways, and then change something in the second sound. It can be a pitch, it can be the tone, it can be whatever. Here's the coolest part. You can put effect racks onto it and change the sound completely. Make sure to check it if it works in mono. Way number 7, mid-side EQing. This one works only well if you have at least a little bit of the stereo information. It's not gonna work for mono sounds. So the way it works is we are basically increasing the volume of certain frequencies of the side signal. So the EQ is unchanged for the mid signal but changed for the side. Way number 8, 
stereo delay. And not a simple one, but I'll show you something you might have not known, a tonal delay. Turn on ping pong, turn off BPM sync, increase feedback and push down the time knobs. You will start to get a really nice repeating delay that you can pitch around by shifting the time knobs. Shorter repetitions mean higher sound and slower lower. Way number 9, Granular. You guys may really like this one. So this is gonna be based on a random playback of the grain. So a part of the sound will be repeating, but because it's gonna be random, you won't get the same sound and that will result in channels being different, aka stereo. The way you can do this is you can use a simple granulator. Slap the sound into a granulator, set up repetitions and randomize them. Now we can manipulate the position so it plays a sound within its original time frame. You can take the original sound and reference to see when it starts and ends. So that's it for this video, hope it was helpful. If you guys have any other unique techniques of making your narrow sounds wide, please let me know in the comments. As always, if you're looking for quality sounds, check out Oversample.us. And if you're looking for quality plugins, check out plugins.oversample.us. Anyways, have a great day and see you soon.